Good morning. It is Wednesday and we are going out today and I never normally wear makeup but I'm gonna do a little mini review of this one that I ordered last week. I ordered this foundation from Instagram I believe. It like kept coming up in my ads and it's like do this quiz and we'll match you perfectly and I was like this totally sounds like a scam but um, obviously this is not sponsored. I paid like 90, no, like over $100 for the three things that I bought from there. But it's this brand. I'd never heard of it before. And I did the quiz. And I did the quiz with like my normal skin tone in mind. I am wearing fake tan, so it might be a little bit too light for me. And I usually would use the beauty blender, but I'm just going to use the brush that they sell that I also bought with it. And I'm just going to prime my skin like I usually would um, with the quick fix. Okay. It looks nice actually. Looks like a nice color. It smells like sunscreen. <laughs> Bless you. The consistency of it is like quite medium. It's not, not thick. It's not thin. It sort of feels fairly nice. So we're still having to wear masks, so this is probably just going to all come off, off the lower of my face. And I'm going to set it and I'm going to like keep you guys updated throughout the day and see how well it lasts. I don't love the smell. Literally, I'm just going to leave this like this, but I am just going to set under my eyes because I don't want creases. Like, I just want to update all my makeup because I don't wear makeup very often, so all my stuff is really, really old. I think like my bronzer, um, my blush, even my foundation, like I bought them all years ago some of them i bought them in high school that's how like infrequently i wear makeup and i'm really curious about like the liquid bronzer the liquid blush sort of situation i've never used either of those i'm a powder gal i'm just going in with this so this i definitely bought in my first year of university which was 2016 and i'm like surely makeup goes off but it's just the stay sprayed by tarte Probably a better colour match to my fake tan than my actual face. These are my shoes that I'm wearing today with my bag. I'm just going to bank this cash and I'm so hungry so I think we're going to go to breakfast or just to get a coffee or something before we head to the city. So we're just at Jimmy's on the Mall and this is my breakfast. <laughs> We've got a passion fruit mojito and what was this one? A tropical daiquiri. Cheers! This is a whole block of halloumi and we've got some fries and some spring rolls. I did think that these were fresh but they are deep fried. We've got some Singapore noodles. This looks so good. It's just got some prawns in it. And we've also got some arancini and these are mushroom and truffle. Hello guys, so I'm back and I'm going to show you guys what I bought today. I went into Hermes and the service was amazing. My sales associate was named Momoko. She was super lovely and really helpful. So in the smaller dust bag is just the belt buckle. I got this brushed gold one. 
so pretty and they're all interchangeable so you buy the belt buckle separately to the actual belt you can like put on the buckle onto any actual belt so they're really diverse this is the belt that i got it's literally perfect it's black on one side brown on the other and i think in future i would actually really love to get an orange belt just to match my birkin and i think that would look really cute i of course went into louis vuitton and i was planning to get the three set Kira, kiragama i think is what it's called it's like a three pack of like pouch clutch purses they are limited edition this season and i had to have them ordered in so i don't actually have them which is really sad um but i'm gonna go and pick them up when they arrive next week this is what i got from mecca and i also just ordered a couple of pieces from sephora because there's actually not a sephora in brisbane city only at Chermside, which is crazy to me but i put up a poll on my instagram and asked you guys what I should try what I should review what I should you know what would you recommend etc so I think I spent like $300 on new makeup but it's actually very overdue I do not remember the last time I bought new makeup except for the this foundation that I bought last week and I had some really good suggestions and I tried to be like very across the board like different brands different price points so for example I got this very cute lip gloss from Mecca, like the home brand Mecca, and it's called Let's Bounce, and the color was like perfect. It's like this very clear beige nudie pink, and so I'm definitely gonna wear this to work on Friday night, and I'll do like a get ready with me, I think. And I got some new brushes from Morphe. These were super decently priced, in my opinion. I think it was like 30 something dollars for this whole pouch of all of these eye brushes. I'm trying out this new sponge. Usually I always get the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, but this is a velvet sponge. This was $9, which is pretty good, so hopefully it works just the same. I bought a new setting spray. As you guys might recall this morning, I used my really old Tarte one, but this one looked really good, and I do really like Urban Decay. I use the Urban Decay Primer, and yeah, this is just the Glow All Night, All Nighter ultra glow setting spray also going to try that out for work and i really wanted to try the what's the brand of this lano lips because i just really want like a nice everyday lip balm that's kind of glossy oh i don't know if it's very glossy it just looks like a lip balm this overexposure is not it and really excited for this one i got a couple of little travel size ones just because i'm not sure and i don't want to hate them and then have it go to waste but I got this Laura Mercier translucent setting setting powder. I am currently using this Natio one that is translucent that I would have bought more than two years ago. The NARS Climax Mascara. The girl, the sales assistant was like, this is really good. So I was like, okay, well I won't worry about getting the travel size. Hopefully I'll just get the real size. This is the Stilla. It's a cream blush. And these are all the rage right now. Very cool with the kids. I have never used a cream bronzer or a cream blush. But again, the sales associate was super helpful. She's like, this is the most common popular color. It's really quite like a dull pinky nude i was really tossing up between this one and the coral one but this seems safer yeah the cream texture is just so bizarre to me the color is peony i think that is all yeah that is all i got but for now i am off to my mum's house for dinner leah is working and i'll see you guys later I am just home from my mum's for dinner and I thought I'd give a foundation update if it will focus. So a little bit patchy. It has been about 11 hours and I have been wearing a mask so not the best. But it's like very lightweight like it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing makeup. So, I don't know. 7 out of 10. 
having a little dairy-free magnum these are pretty good actually usually i am not someone who gets berry flavored things for desserts i'm usually just like a strict chocolate gal but pretty good i just saw on instagram that lauren curtis has brought out her own mascara and i have been a die-hard fan of lauren curtis since i was like 12. she pretty much taught me how to do makeup so i was like well Need to support my gal. I trust her judgment when it comes to lashes because she's obviously the queen of lashes as far as natural lashes go. So I bought her mascara. It was 29 Australian dollars and plus five dollars for postage. So I should be getting that in the next week and I will keep you guys posted because I'm here to review all of the makeup products from an absolute pleb civilian's opinion. I'm not a makeup expert, but I will give my two cents. And so now, I'm just in a Lauren Curtis mood, and I'm just going to watch some of her YouTube videos. And then, I'm going to make my list of things that I'm going to do tomorrow, because trying to be a productive queen. Just having some granola with strawberries, blueberries, and chocolate chips. And fun fact, I actually got called in to do jury duty. It sounds really fun to me. I would really love to do that, but it can go for up to four weeks and you can stay overnight there. And I was like, mm, no, no, I can be exempt because of my work at the clinic because it's like essential medical care. So I have to apply to be excused from that. And I'm just going to apply for this property and probably edit some videos. So we're about to head out to go to the gym and I never ever usually have BCAAs. I used to be really into them a few years ago, but I just feel like something sweet and fruity. So I'm just going to make one. This is the woman's best tropical fruits. is some tuna and some seared salmon which is my favorite and Leah just got some seared beef and some chicken this, this is a brewery kingfish I love anything seared and then this is a brewery tuna and this is a brewery salmon again but on top of an avocado roll this is a massive bowl of udon I'm so excited to eat this and it came with some tempura veggies and I just love it. I used to have this for breakfast every single morning when I lived in Japan and it just is the best. I'm many things but a plant mom is not one of those. This is my basil. Bye basil. I have never been so excited for a hot beverage in my life. This is an oat milk chai latte. Woo! So excited. So I have put away all my makeup and just sorted it. These are all the brushes that I have to clean. Some lashes and my lipsticks and brushes down there. I'm going to clean this whole space, have my ring light up there and my mirror permanently and get ready always at this table. Ignore that. Leo has just put together my beautiful shelving unit. Guys, this is the first draft of my bag and shoe cupboard display. Starting up the top, we just have my Louboutins. And then the next shelf down is just some Valentino pieces. This was sort of like all my birthday gifts to myself. I was having a massive Valentino moment. And the next shelf is probably the best shelf. This is the Hermes shelf, classic, beautiful orange. This is the baby that I picked up yesterday. And then the next shelf, I've tried to sort of keep it in design out, but there are a couple of mismatched pieces. These are just my little Louis Vuitton baby heels. This is my Louis Vuitton Anna bag. Probably one of my absolute favorites. Leah got it for me. And I have been wanting this forever. It's super special to me. And then here are just some wallets and clutches. This one here is actually not Louis Vuitton, it is Christian Dior. And this one I've had for like three years and look at how worn it is. I've worn it to absolute death. So I'm sort of on the market for a new clutch everyday handbag. Down here we have kind of Chanel. <laughs> here are my 
my espadrilles love these bought these years ago in melbourne then i have my beloved cream le boy with gold hardware these are some vintage valentinos that i've actually never worn but i just think they're so fun and then my very old very loved classic wallet on a chain which i'm actually going to sell in order to get a classic double flap small size with gold hardware and then on the bottom shelf here, I just have my two sizes of my Neverfall, one with the monogram and one with the Damier print. And then over here, just have my Speedy 30 monogram. And then here I just have these Yves Saint Laurent. Next up, I just got this beautiful gold Gucci piece. And then this sort of, it gets a little bit more miscellaneous as we go down. So I've just got two scarves, one Burberry, one Louis Vuitton. My very scratched, disheveled Gucci Marmont belt that I probably will need to replace in the next couple of years. And then two of Leo's shoes. A nightmare. A true nightmare. Just heading to get my nails done with my mum. I'm wearing this really cute little jumpsuit that I've had forever. It's not the most flattering, but it's so comfortable. I'm wearing my little Gucci bag. And these very comfy little slides. And I'm not wearing any makeup. I got blueberries. I'm always getting berries. Two bananas. I don't actually eat these not frozen. I freeze them and put them in smoothies. I'm going to make like a roast, like a vegetarian roast. And so I got some broccolini. It was on sale. It was like $1 for a bunch. Some lactose-free sour cream. Chocolate because balance. I know last time in my last vlog I said I wasn't going to get nectarines because they were so expensive and they're still just as expensive so I only got two but I do really love them. I got an avocado. I just got this like toasted granola miso stuff. I have one out of some vegetarian sausages, some vegetarian mints. I'm going to do um, some more taco mix. I use diced tomatoes, lentils, red beans and black beans for my Mexican mix and I just got some medium salsa I always used to buy the Dorito brand but the Woolworths brand is like half price a big old box of my favorite tea it's just a peppermint tea by Twinings love it especially when I'm working or at uni I just go through that stuff like water there are more of the beans got two milks i got one soy and one oat it used to be an almond gal but i'm getting really into the oat so i have the oat with my breakfast cereals and when i'm baking but when i'm cooking some mashed potato pretty much is the only thing i'll use soy milk got some potatoes for our little roast meal prep and then our favorite tuna was on special guys i felt so indifferent to tuna when i was getting like coles brand or even like green seas Try the Serena Tuna. It's the most expensive one. I think it's like usually $2 a can, but it is the best. And I just got this big ass bag of corn chips for nachos. And that's pretty much it. These are the nails. It was actually pretty traumatic. She was super rough. Every single one of my cuticles was bleeding they are kind of stinging and really painful right now but at least they're cute mushroom and truffle spaghetti and we've got a cheeky little glass of prosecco and this is mom's pizza also got a margarita to take away yum so i've just showered and done some skincare i'm in my comfy pajamas and i'm just doing some editing it is 11 a.m. I just slept for about 11 hours and I feel really good. And I'm just gonna do a very quick little skincare routine. I haven't done anything to my face. I'm just gonna wet it with water. And then this is my favorite brand. It is Ultraderm and I use this Skin Renew Cleanser. So I'm just gonna wet my face. And go in with like a pea-sized amount. This feels so nice going on. God, this sounds like it's sponsored. I swear it's not. I paid for these all, I promise. But yeah, I've literally been using this brand since I was about 14 on and off. So yeah, it feels like so smooth. It sort of feels like hyaluronic acid going on. Like it's so nice and glidey, not oily. So yeah, I just do like circular motions. 
And I'm just wetting my little silicone brush. You do not need this, um, but I have it and I like it. So it vibrates and it has two sides and it's just like silicone. So I just move that around in circular motions. I love how it feels. It feels like it gives like a really thorough cleanse and like a gentle exfoliation as well. But like by all means, just use your fingers and like a soft cloth. So I'll obviously cleanse twice a day, but I only use this little machine once a day. Sometimes even just once every two days. I'm just rinsing off the cleanser. And just patting dry with a hand towel. Ultram, these are quite expensive, but this is the largest size that they come in. This was about $98, but they do last me like over a year. Um, so this is just the Skin Renew Serum with Rejuvenating Apple Stem Cells. And it also has lactic acid, hyaluronic acid, and yeah, apple stem cell as extract. So I just do usually one pump if I'm doing it with something else. But if it's just on its own, I'll do two pumps. I just sort of like buff that into my skin. I'm going in with this. This is actually like a rewards program thing. So like the more items that you buy, they like give you little, these little ones for free. So that's nice. And I did use the vitamin C serum from The Ordinary for a really long time. And I love The Ordinary. So affordable. So just basic and perfect. No fuss. Exactly what you need. But I really hated how the vitamin C felt. It's really dry. And um, it's just really not friendly to apply. So this one is my favorite vitamin C. So again, just patting it all over my face. And the most important thing with vitamin C is that you are wearing SPF during the day because it makes you much more susceptible to UV. And don't get me started on this, the hype that is these rollers. I don't believe that they really do anything, but I really like how they feel. And they're just like a nice cooling effect, so they help a little bit with fluid retention. I'm not going to comment on the whole lymphatic drainage thing because I'm not, I'm not well read enough in that to have an opinion on it. But I think this one was like $8. Eye cream. And I didn't use eye cream for a really long time because I had a dermatologist tell me that eye cream was a scam. And I was like, oh. Easy breezy. I'll just cut it out of my routine. And then I had another dermatologist and my esthetician be like, use it, please. It's so good for preventing fine lines and signs of aging because it's, yes, it's sort of just like a moisture situation, but it's really potent. So use it. And I was like, well, I have nothing to lose. I'd rather use it and have it do nothing than not use it and have wrinkles. So I just do a little bit. This is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This one I use during the day. And not every day. And then at night, I use the Estee Lauder, is it like advanced, advanced nightwear or something. Um, and I really like that one. It just feels nice, but again, I don't notice anything. But I do have quite dry skin, so it's probably important for me to use it. And another Ultra Dam product, please, for the love of God, sponsor me. This is the Daily Protector Tinted Base and Moisturizer SPF 30 with vitamin E. So I use this every day, even if I'm inside all day, which I usually am. And I just do like this amount. Important to note with this one, you cannot put face oil over this because it goes really weird. Like that the hard way. And it doesn't smell gross and I don't notice that I'm wearing it. So I actually really like this one. And just down my neck a little bit. Make sure I got all the way to the hairline. Wouldn't want to get sunburnt while I'm sitting at my desk all day. And then that is my skincare routine. I am about to meal prep. So I still have my groceries left out here from when I got them. That's okay. We are gonna do veggie meatloaf and sausages and potato, pumpkin, carrot, broccolini. I'm excited. And now this does take like an hour, I think, to cook. So I'm gonna put it in, run to the post office, clean up a little bit. I do have my honey bonnet packages that I'm gonna pick up, which is exciting. Because, of course, today is Friday and I have work tonight at the strip club. We're going to roast the potatoes at the same time as we're doing the meatloaf. I think the worst part of cooking is, like, cutting up all the vegetables. I, I don't know why, I just don't like it. Just preheating the oven. 
to about 180. Just got this big old pan. Just gonna line that with some baking paper. Also, this is the outfit of the day. It's this little tie-dye moment with my um, Lululemon Aligns. I love these leggings because they're what I wear when I want to wear track pants, but it's not socially acceptable. I'm actually also wanting to make some chocolate chip cookies. I think that would be delicious. Gosh, my fingers are so sore from that manicure. She absolutely butchered me. I actually sent them a DM being like, hey, um, just some feedback. Like I'm in a lot of pain and my all my fingers were nicked and they're all bleeding. So just sorry to be a pain, but <laughs> ouch. I'm like, I've been getting my nails done for like 10 years now and this has never happened to me. Um, but she was, yeah, just so, so rough. I don't know if she was in a hurry or what. <laughs> it is a little bit old, so it's got a little bit of mold on it, but we're just cutting that off. I was going to make a pumpkin soup with this, but I do feel like I would like roast pumpkin with my meatloaf. I think that would be really good. I feel like nothing is as annoying to cut as pumpkin. And I just feel like I like waste so much of the flesh when I do it. I'm sure I'm probably just not doing it right. Now we're going to do potato. I'm like really curious as to what percentage of people peel versus don't peel their potatoes. looks like it looks kind of disgusting looks kind of like dog food but I promise it's really really good just like a very healthy good amount of olive oil next herbs So I just came back from the post office and the shops. I had to pick up some eggs at like my local, it's very fancy marketplace, kind of like an IGA, but not. And it's like just fancy and everything's really beautiful. And these were $8. It's fine. <laughs> Hopefully they're treating their chickens right. I got my package and I figured it would not be a vlog without a Honey Burdette unboxing, unpackaging, unwrapping. So Honey Burdette had a sale. They don't usually do sales, but they've definitely become more frequent, thankfully. And I just got two pieces that were missing out of my collection. The first one is the Marve, Marive, I'm not sure how you say it. It's like this beautiful pink. And I actually have the bustier, so it's like the top and the bottom. I'll show it here. And the thong. And then in their last sale, I actually bought the bra. So now I have the bustier and the thong, which I actually can't wear to work because the bustier is just so annoying to quickly get on and off. So usually this is $119 just for this suspender, which we know this, it's criminal. I got this for not $120. I'll put down the price that I paid here. And probably my favorite style at the moment, Whitney green apple. I just bought the bra and the thong for some reason and I didn't buy the mid-piece and I'm such a three-piece girl so it just makes sense that I got this and it was on sale in my size so that's awesome and this one was $99.95 but I did get it on sale so this is what I paid and this is what the set looks like. It's so cute and I think I'm going to wear this one tonight actually and maybe this one tomorrow depending on, depending on how we go. So yeah, I'm going to just do some editing and I'll check back in with you guys soon when I decide to make some cookies. This is the roast all done. I've just also steamed some broccolini and I'm going to make some gravy and watch some Dr. Death. I have just curled my hair. I leave it like this for a couple of hours and then I brush it out. And I'm just making some cookies and watching Dr. Death. So I thought I would show you guys how I make my cookies. 110 grams of melted butter in here. Just a little bit over 100 is all you need. I'm gonna add one egg. 
mix that together. Should probably use a whisk, but I just don't care. So it's about four o'clock now. And I'm gonna wind up this vlog pretty soon, I think, when I finish making these cookies. Um, just because I'm going to the strip club tonight to work and I'm gonna be making a separate vlog, obviously. So we're doing half a cup of brown sugar ish and then we'll do three quarters of a cup of white cast sugar all refined sugar <laughs> that's okay it's all about balance yeah it's a lot of sugar feel free to like substitute it for coconut sugar or even some stevia or anything if you are that way inclined this golden goodness I want like a cooking show style, like camera up here facing down. I feel like that would be the move. So now I'm just sieving about one and a quarter cup of all purpose flour. Sorry, I'm not leveling these off. I, I just don't care. It's not an exact science, just do what feels right. Now that we've added our flour in, I'm just like lightly folding that in. And we're gonna add in half a teaspoon of baking soda. Done. And then this is pretty much all done. We just have to add in our chocolate chips. You don't wanna over mix it. You don't wanna do the whole gluten activation thing, make it tough. So we literally just wanna make sure it's all combined. And Nestle, the Cadbury ones are really good. We use dairy free. See what our batter is looking like. I always find that like my tray, my oven tray is just not big enough for 12 cookies. And I just, I don't know why. I don't think that it's an overly small oven, but it just definitely doesn't fit 12 cookies. So, and I always make the mistake of just being like, no, it'll be fine. And then they always overlap and it's just a disaster. So I probably made them about double the size that they should be. Hence, I only made six instead of 12, but they look amazing and I'm gonna put them in the oven. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I am all ready now, all ready for work tonight and it's going to be a separate vlog. So I will see you guys in the next video.